Everyone wants to change something in their life. But the first step to making such changes is to alter your identity or how you view yourself. Welcome to Prepare Leaders. In this video, I want to share the four daily rituals that you may utilize to alter your identity and, in turn, your life. Ritual number one. We act in accordance with how we perceive ourselves. Dr. Maxwell Maltz was a surgeon who authored the book Psycho-Cybernetics. Now, Dr. Maltz was a plastic surgeon, and he discovered that patients would come to him wanting to change a physical aspect of themselves because they would say, my forehead, my nose, some people had vehicle accidents. However, we would correct the physical flaw, and his self-esteem would remain unchanged. In response, he set out on a journey to comprehend self-image and the reasons behind why we all see ourselves in the ways that we do. And he saw that for many people, how they look doesn't match how they are on the inside. Even if you gave someone a perfect, beautiful outside, their self-perception wouldn't change, and they would still live in fear. Now, Dr. Maxwell Maltz's work includes helping people change who they are without changing how they look. For instance, he discusses visualization exercises in his book to alter how you view yourself before truly changing who you are. So, let's imagine, for example, that you've been single for a long time and don't want to be anymore. You've also developed the reputation of being the apprehensive person who never asks the girl or guy they like out on a date. Technically, all you need to do is the opposite of what you typically do. For example, if I normally never ask someone out but I'm into them, then all I'm going to do for the next month is take the shot and thereby change my identity. Ritual number two. Consider an image of your ideal self. A buddy of mine once said, You know what most impresses me about New York and Manhattan? It's that none of it was truly there 150 or 200 years ago, and that someone felt we should build a tower here, and this is going to become a hub for people all over the world. The area was once just a flat grassland and nothing else. But now, it is Manhattan and New York City, a symbol of human history. The fact that someone considered doing that before actually doing it is truly incredible. Someone was able to picture something before it was actually accomplished, just like you do when you first become a human. However, other than your thoughts, words, and actions being in sync with the kind of person you want to become, Nothing else can ensure that will happen. So for some people, the best way to change who they are is to really see themselves as they would like to be. For instance, if you struggle to consume the correct foods to maintain your health or fitness, and you are aware that one of your regular rituals is to go to the coffee shop in the morning, buy a latte or a frappuccino with sugar, and then buy a donut or a chocolate croissant. Well, going through your morning routine as the type of person you want to be in the morning, perhaps this is a fitter or healthier person. I see myself going to the same coffee shop at this time, but instead of getting a chocolate croissant or a muffin with 500 calories, I'm getting overnight oats or a fruit cup. Some people have said that this kind of mental rehearsal is a great way to change the way you act. Because the next time you enter that coffee shop, you will already be planning and controlling your life according to how you want it to be. You are less likely to choose the donut or the pastry over the fruit cup as a result. So if you want to improve any part of your life, it can be very helpful to change your identity and use mental rehearsal in the morning. And before we continue, I'll be giving you time to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. And let's continue. Ritual number three, pursuing your instincts from the beginning. 
One of my favorite authors, Robert Greene, authored a book titled Mastery that is all about the historical masters in all walks of life. Spanning from architect Frank Lloyd Wright to Zen monks like Hakuin, all the way up to those who work in the medical industry. One commonality throughout all of their experiences is that they had a bit of a rebellious streak in that, among other things, they follow their primal instincts. Architects are another type of medical professional who start out by doing what everyone else does before they start to make changes. Because they had learned the skills they needed, they were able to move forward and leave the past behind. Before deciding to go their own way, many of these people had studied with the best psychologists in the world, trained with the best athletic trainers in the world, and learned from the smartest, most knowledgeable people in the world. Because of this, so many of us find that changing our identities requires us to trust our instincts. You must act in a manner that differs from the society, your parents, and those around you. Even if it means feeling uncomfortable or being the one person in a million who leads a life that is different from everyone else. However, it means that if your intuition is leading you in a different direction, you must follow it since doing so will cause you to change in a way that no one else has ever done. Ritual number four, try something different from what you usually do. I was such a shy youngster when I started high school. I just never spoke, so someone called me the invisible girl. I'm an introvert, but nobody in my life actually knows that. Even if I still am, it's just because I don't appear to be that way when they observe me in social situations. I therefore traveled there for a year. After reading the book How to Win Friends and Influence People, I began acting completely different from how I normally spent most of the day. I thought of these traits as extrovert skills because I got them from my life experiences. I would see very outgoing people across the street waving and making eye contact with me as I was learning how to have a nice conversation, remembering people's name and trying to talk to them when, in the past, I would have avoided even acquaintances as an introvert. Sometimes, that's what it takes to break through your shell and get past a stage of your life where everything has been the same for a very long time. When you do the opposite of what you generally do, you change your identity by definition since you're no longer the same person. Therefore, simply do the opposite of what you regularly do for a day, a month, or a year, as I did. However, you will undeniably change, and you will advance in life. These four rituals can help you change who you are on the inside, which will change how you act on the outside. If you practice these four rituals every day, you will be living your ideal life far faster than the average person. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and turn on the notification bell so you'll know when I upload new content. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and I'll see you all in my next video.